Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing my spread for the week of November 26th through December 2nd and this is going to be memory plan as all of my spreads have been recently. Um, I'm about a month behind right now. Actually, I'm slowly catching up, but I'm still quite behind so I just like to go back in and fill in all the things that I did in my planner because I do use this as a um, way of memory keeping. So for this week, I had a really hard time deciding if I wanted to start with Christmas kids or if I wanted to do fall kids and ultimately I decided on neither. For this week, I want to pull in this gorgeous kit from Elle May Plans. Unfortunately, I think her shop is no longer open. She had her closing sale sometime uh, back in July, but I did manage to pick this up before she closed, and I think it's so beautiful. And like I mentioned, it's really neither fall nor winter or Christmas. It's really just kind of a, a kit that I can use at any time. And I wanted to use this kit because this was a really, really hard week for me at work. Um, I had a record number of meetings and reports to write, and so I pretty much worked every single day after work. Um, so it was not an exciting week at all. And it was just really, really tough for me. So I thought this quote box that says, you are beautiful, just serves as a really good reminder for this week, given how difficult it was. And um, I'm going to go through what is included in the kit really quickly. Um, we've got the nine full boxes here and some little flags at the bottom. We have our washi and washi strips. Here we have our heart check flags, some third boxes. No, I think these are half boxes. We have quarter boxes, flags, and then icons. And um, over here on the side, it says Hello Weekend. Here we've got some quarter boxes at the top. We have six um, heart checklists that have just like the plain colors in the background, and then three heart checklists with the marbled background, which I think is really pretty. And here we have all the text stickers. We have sidebar items, some circle icons. We have flags, and then little heart icons at the bottom. And then um, on this page, we have all the little things, the headers, and then the date covers. So this is definitely a full kit. Um, lots of stickers to work with, although I do think I'm gonna need to pull in more half boxes because I usually like to do, um, or I usually like to use at least one half box every day. So anyways, in addition to this, I'm gonna pull in some Simply Gilded Washi. Um, I have this lilac colored one with silver foil, which I think would go really well. Um, I think silver foil actually works better with marble compared to gold. So I'm gonna to try to pull in more silver for this week. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it that I can explain for now. Um, let's go ahead and get started by putting down my bottom washi and then I will build my spread from there. Whenever I use the Simply Gilded Washi at the bottom, I always like to white out the lines on my planner just because it's very thin and would show through the washi. And because I pulled in the Simply Gilded Washi, I did have to trim down the marbled washi that came in the kit, but I think it looked really pretty layered in that way. For my sidebar, I pulled in the quote box for the top corner, of course, and then I go ahead and white out all the dates in my Erin Condren and place down the date covers that came in the kit. I did have to cover up the flags in the top corners because they did not match at all this week. And um, then I filled in the dates myself because I couldn't find any date dots that kind of matched the style of the kit. For the rest of my sidebar, I first pulled in the thinner Simply Gilded Washi. I think that's the 10 millimeter. Um, I'm not really good with the names of the sizes, but I think that's what it is. Then I pulled in the habit tracker to track my working out as usual, and I used a quarter box to track my happy moments. The kit came with two Monday through Sunday boxes, which is always awesome. And then um, I decided to switch out that quarter box for another one in my collection instead. I think I wanted more of the square corner instead of the rounded corner. At the bottom, as usual, I like to track my dinners for the week, so I put down the second Monday through Sunday box there at the bottom. Moving on to Monday, I start by using a glitter header from Mandy Dreams, and all the glitter headers that I use this week are from her shop. I then used the quarter box that I think I peeled up from the sidebar, and that silver coffee foiled sticker is from Hazel Sticker. That day at work, I pretty much wrote reports all day, and so I used a laptop sticker from Tickled Pink Planning, and under that, I put down a full box to take up some room because there wasn't much going on on that Monday. That afternoon, I had my first IEP of the week. The thing that made this week so tough was that all the cases I had were quite challenging and quite complicated, and so um, that definitely added to the stress of this week. I used an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs over a half box, and then under that, I put down a quarter box with a mochi slamming his head on the desk. That is from Mochi Kichi. I think it's so cute because I got home so late. I think every single day this week, I got home past 6 p.m., which is pretty late 
for me because I get to work at around 7, 7.30. I pulled in a half scallop label from Panda Bird Designs and I layered over it a work script sticker that came in the kit to mark that I pretty much work for the rest of the night. As soon as I got home, I started to write reports and um, that was pretty much it for my night. Then moving to Tuesday, I pulled in another strip of the thinner Simply Gilded Washi. Under that, I put down a quarter box with a sad emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. because I forgot my phone at home that day. Um, I then put down a to-do header with a three heart checklist to mark some things I got done at work. The phone sticker is from Toffee Bananas, I believe, and I think it's so adorable. Um, I did have to call a private school that day, so I pulled that in to mark that. We had our usual staff meeting that afternoon, so I put that on a quarter box that I found in my collection. And then uh, for my IEP that afternoon, I used this really gorgeous silver foiled sticker, and that is from Jadora Planning. I got that as a gift from a very sweet planner friend who got those customized for me. I then put down a glitter header with a full box at the very bottom. I pulled in a shoe sticker from Simply Laura Paper Shop to mark that I did a really intense workout that night. I normally don't prefer intense workouts because I'm kind of lazy, but on that day, I think it really helped to release some of the stress that I was experiencing. And so um, I marked that actually as my happy moment of the day later on. And um, under that, I pulled in a laptop sticker from Sparkly Studio to mark that I worked on reports for the rest of the night, which is no bueno. Um, then on Wednesday, I started by using a Today header at the top. I found these really cute marbled um, quarter boxes from Very Jenny Co. So I pulled one of those in and I was going to fill it out off camera with the name of the school that I was at. And then um, I treated myself to coffee because I actually had to drive to my other school for a meeting. And so in between, I decided to pick up some coffee. Um, that coffee sticker is from Toffee Bananas. I then used a glitter header with a full box and I put down a silver heart foiled sticker from um, student planning to mark that again, I had to drive to my other site for a meeting and to mark the meeting, I used an IEP flag over a um, half box. And for those of you who are new to my channel, IEPs are meetings that we hold for students in special education. Underneath that, I used a washi strip with a exercise sticker from the kit. I think that girl is super cute in her little sports bra and the weights in her hand. And then again, I spent the rest of the night working on reports. So I used a laptop sticker from Sweet Kawaii Design. On Thursday, I started by using a full box and I decided to letter over it and I wrote, you got this because we were halfway through the week at that point and so I just wanted to write something motivating um, and then under that, I used another strip of the Simply Gilded Washi. I had two IEP meetings on this day. So the first one I used the um, flag from Lily Grove Designs over a half box. And then the second meeting I marked by using um, the foiled flag from Jador Planning. Under that, I used a glitter header with a mochi slamming into a wall sticker from Mochi Kichi, um, and I just wrote exhaustion because I was so, so exhausted by the end of that day. And then I put down a large laptop sticker from Very Jenny Co. at the bottom to mark that, again, I wrote reports for the entire rest of the night. Then moving to Friday, I first started by putting down a glitter header at the top. Um, I was super excited that it was Friday. I had one last meeting left, and so I used um, the Happy Princess cat sticker, and I got that from Jesse James Design Co. I treated myself to a special coffee that morning. I got the white chocolate mocha, which was amazing. That silver foiled coffee sticker is from Hazel Sticker again. Under that, I used a little things with a um, an alarm clock icon over it to mark that we had our morning staff meeting that day. And then I had to go off campus to observe a student over at a private school. That pencil sticker is from Mochi Kichi. I then used a half box from my leftovers collection with another IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark my last IEP meeting of the week. Hallelujah. Very exciting. And then this is where I decided to replace the little things at the top uh, for my meeting. And I put down a strip of the marbled washi instead. At the end of the day, I put down a full box and then on top of that, I used a little things with a remember script sticker from K Stickers Co. I put down a shoe sticker from Paper and Milk to mark my workout that day. Originally, I put down a cardio script sticker and that is from Simply Me Kish, but I do remove it later on because I felt like it took up too much room. At the very bottom, I put down a microphone from Love Shira. I actually cut that out of a um, lettering sticker that she had, and I saved the other part of it for another spread. Um, but yes, then above that, I wanted to mark that I watch TV. So the TV icon is from Sparkly Studio. 
I used the microphone to mark that I had a solo karaoke night that night. I had quite a few drinks and then decided to go on YouTube and look up like the karaoke versions of all these songs and just literally had a karaoke session by myself. And it was amazing. It was glorious. And it was the perfect way to unwind after a horrible week. Um, but anyways, on Saturday and Sunday, I layered some washi strips um, at the top and then I put down the Hello Weekend script sticker um, right over that. I had a wonderfully lazy morning on Saturday. I put down that super cute bundled up emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that. And then I used a silver glitter header with a two heart checklist to mark that. We went to the grocery store and got some boba. That boba sticker is from Kina Prince. I then scooted up the glitter header just a touch so that I had enough space for everything else I wanted to mark. I first put down a full box and used a Gaming Maru sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that we played a board game with some of our friends. This is round two of the board game that we were playing. It's kind of an, an intense game that takes um, over like 16 hours to complete because it just takes forever. And so we split it up into three days. I kind of explained it in my last video. But anyways, this was day two and we literally played this game. I'm not joking for nine hours. Um, I had quite a bit of tequila and we had sausages as well for dinner. So I used a margarita sticker from Hazel sticker to mark that. I started playing worse and worse the more that I drank, which is not surprising in any way, but I still had tons of fun. I lifted up the stickers to add a simply gilded washi strip on top of the full box and then I replaced everything else afterwards. At the end of the night when I got home, I just passed out. So I used a white deer stationary sleeping mask sticker to mark that. Then moving on to Sunday, I started by pulling in another one of those uh, Very Jenny Co. quarter boxes with the marbled background, which is so pretty, and then I used a full box underneath that. Under the full box, I used a half box to mark that we got pho for lunch that day. It was delicious, and that pho sticker is from Hazel Sticker. I always like to get pho on a day after I drink because I feel like it's the best hangover food. Um, then I put down a glitter header with a three heart checklist um, to mark some things that I got done that day. The film clapper sticker is from Mandy Dreams. At the very end of the night, we watched TV, so I put down a half box, or I'm sorry, a quarter box with a silver foiled heart sticker from Student Planning to mark the TV show that I was watching. And then the last thing I always do is to fill out my sidebar, and I was actually really proud of myself for working out four times this week despite being super busy. But yeah, I was really glad that I could do that because like I said, it does help me relieve stress and does help me feel better. Um, anyways, now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in the kit. I have tons of leftover, um, and I will add that to my leftover stash to do a giveaway when I have accumulated quite a bit. That's it for today's spread. Um, it's probably not a surprise, but I absolutely love this so, so much because of all the pinks and the purples and then the bows. It's just like everything that I love in one spread. Oh, also the marble, of course. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and let me know if you have any questions. Just go ahead and leave them down below. Thank you so much for watching you guys and for supporting my channel. I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season with your family and friends and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.